Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sapinski, your crypto queen. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. Big news, hot off the presses. Frank now has complete ownership of the Frankie Candles channel. This is this is a pretty big shift here, right? Somebody's cleaving off from the hit network, and it's all really good news. I'm super happy for Frank. He put out a very long tweet, or are they called? Zeets now? I'm not, not exactly sure. Just FYI, it's one of those TLDR situations, but I am going to go ahead and read it for you. Just bear in mind, I can't find my new glasses. These are a little, I have to hold them weird so I can actually see. So just bear with me for a little bit. Hey, crypto Twitter. Obviously, I have not spoken publicly on the drama, and I think it's time I talk about exactly why. Let me give you a little background so you can better understand where I'm coming from. I was a huge fan of the channel and a loyal BitSquad member because that channel helped me make money just like I know it has done for many other people. After seeing a clip on one of the daily vlogs of Ben and TJ saying hundreds of people ask for jobs but never say what they could actually do, I decided to send them a cold email on March 8th, 2021 in hopes of changing my life. By some miracle, TJ happened to see it he answered that day, and within a week, I was on a plane with Mrs. Candles to go interview. A couple of weeks later, I'm in Georgia, resident and working for my, comp for my favorite YouTube channel. I got the opportunity to travel all over vlogging, making some of the best memories of my life and some of the best people I've ever met, and I didn't have to hide my crypto charts when my bosses walked by. It was truly my dream. I got to see in person how many people's lives were really changed at BitBoy Crypto meetups. I got to hear everyone's story of how they found the channel and how much their lives had changed. It was so fulfilling and I felt so very lucky to be a part of it. When Ben and TJ came to me about starting my own channel, funny enough, I thought I would hate being on camera and I didn't know if I wanted to do it, but Mrs. Candles pushed me and God, am I happy that she did. I've had the pleasure of being able to create the absolutely most positive and loyal crypto community out there, a community of my own. Now I have people telling me that I changed their lives. It was my dream just to be an employee for a YouTube channel that did that, did that. but now I have my own and I'm helping people. The past two years of my life have felt like a dream. I genuinely feel like the luckiest person on earth for what I have with the Candle Mafia. It's truly something special. With all of this drama, I'm faced with very hard decisions. It was extremely hard to build what we have today. I've sacrificed sleep, health, time with my family, etc. to make this happen. I take it very seriously. I don't care about fame. I don't care about the politics. And I certainly don't care about the drama. I don't do this for the money. I do this because it's fulfilling. I do it for the countless comments and DMs that I get from people saying I changed their life. And I mean that genuinely. There isn't a person who knows me that would deny that to be actual truth. I care about continuing to help people learn how to make money trading crypto. I don't have anything to hide. I don't have any beef with anyone. I love Ben and TJ both as they have both changed my life more than one time and for that I am forever grateful. And now I know for a fact both of them know that I know that. There are real people behind this drama. It's affecting real people's lives every day and nobody other than the parties involved have all of the information. Trust me, I'm closer to this than anyone reading this right now and I don't even have all of the information. So before hating on people, no matter who it is, chances are most certainly don't know what's going on. It's not about picking sides or about drama for me. It's about getting back to helping people and creating great content. I want to be as transparent as possible. I've been completely happy with my deal thus far. I didn't just get a percentage of revenue. I also got a generous salary, but you may not have known that. I have always been taken care of, and I want to make that crystal clear. But people outgrow deals, and I knew when that point came that I would be able to make to renegotiate that with no problem. Due to this current situation, some of these hard conversations have been forced to happen sooner. 
but TJ had chosen to sign over 100% of the Frankie Candles company to me. He made it clear that he didn't want to destroy what I worked so hard to build, and he knows how much I care about it. And the thought of starting from zero was painful, and to be perfectly honest, nobody wins in that scenario. I'm just sharing my truth with all of you. I have to do what's right for the Candle Mafia and focusing on this beautiful community I have killed myself to build is the obvious choice for me here. I want to be clear, I will no longer be a hit network brand and will be fully operating my own company. I am grateful that I have the option to continue to use my office and secondary set to build content in. I can even hire those who have helped me film and edit this content up until this point. Obviously, the ownership process cannot happen overnight, but the wheels are in motion and I will own 100% of everything I have worked hard to build and can finally get back to doing what I love the most with full freedom, which is teaching you all how to make money trading crypto, whether the price is going up or down. So I'm going to continue to show up for my people because they have shown up for me. I will always be grateful to Ben and TJ for the opportunities I was given and beyond grateful to TJ for understanding how much this community means to me and this new chapter of opportunities I've been so blessed with. As I said, I am uninvolved in what is happening. Are as many in his feet innocent people at hit network everyone just wants to get back to work on diverting uh, i'm sorry i i can hardly see on delivering the best crypto content possible so if you're into nerding out on the charts making money trading and you like having a blast doing it or you just want to dip your toes into learning how to trade i'll be live every single weekday at 5 45 p.m eastern standard time on my youtube channel alongside the best crypto community in the space I pray and hope for the best resolution possible for both TJ and Ben, as they are two individuals I care deeply about. To the Candle Mafia, I love each and every single one of you more than you can ever imagine, and I would not be in the position I am today without your insane support. I will see you all again very soon. Same place, same time. Frankie Candles out. Bing bong. And Ben posted, you know, happy for Frank. Also, I approve this decision. So when I take back over, <laughs> he has to put that in there. Uh, Frankie will get to keep 100% of his channel. I've been pushing for this. Signs, still trying to unplug, but it's hard when such good news happens to your friend. As you remember, Ben is supposed to be unplugged from social media, not really having too much to say. But of course, you know, I figured that wouldn't last very long. And actually, he, he was quiet most of the past, I would say, 30 hours. He did a pretty good job. But, you know, that happens. Uh, so great news for Frankie Candles. Listen, that's really great because it is nice when you've built something from scratch. And, you know, it's all about your hard work. And you managed to build it like that. That's really great. Sounds like there are some hard conversations being had over there at the Hit Network, and we know it's because they're having difficulties making payroll. They have over 40 people on the payroll, and their big, huge source of income got yoked when Ben left. The stake deal got lost. Stake, you know, pulled their uh, their sponsorship of the channel. But here's the thing: don't forget, stake got hacked, right? Who's to say that even if Ben comes back at this point, if the stake deal is still going to be there, or if it does come back and it is there, is it going to be worth a million dollars a month? Is that what they'll still be able to pull in? I don't know. Don't forget, like, you know, they lost $3 million on Celsius. And apparently TJ's dad had the money over there. No, nobody's blaming TJ, TJ's dad for the closing of Celsius. Of course not. A lot of people were hurt when Celsius closed up shop, obviously. But it sounds like that was all of their money. He was the master of coin and he decided to leave all of their coin in one basket. That's, the, that's another valuable lesson that we can learn with all of this drama. You need to diversify. Never put all of your eggs in the one Celsius basket because Celsius can close up shop and then you have nothing. So let this be, you know, cautionary tale for everyone. Never put all of your tokens or coins in one particular wallet or leave them in one particular swap or exchange because that could all go away. 
and then you're broke. It's very sad. So anyway, I'm very happy for Frankie Candles. Congratulations. Don't forget to go subscribe to Fan. I'm going to leave a, a link for Frankie's channel down in the description. If you're not already, you know, uh, subscribe to Frankie's channel and supporting him, I suggest that you do it because he does really make, there's a reason why he's called Frankie Candles. He does some really good technical analysis and I appreciate him for that. Well, that's going to do it here for me today. I appreciate you so much. Thank you very much for joining me and until next time forget don't forget to buy it's late here people it's almost one o'clock in the morning i'm tired take care